Hello, I'm Tracy Diane. Welcome to my channel. If you want to see more of my video, uh, please subscribe and tell me whether you like it or not. Uh, well, back um, later, uh, er, well, well, back. I'm not sure for how far back, but I did a video on Bob Marley. I did it at the time when I. Well, I, at the time, I knew there was going to be a movie about him uh, coming up, and I wanted to do a video when it comes out, and I've seen the movie, and it's called Bob Marley, One Love. It's very good. I recommend that you see it if you haven't. Um, it's a biological drama musical film based on the life and legendary Bob Marley. The movie was premiered in Jamaica on January 23rd, 2024, then released again in USA by Paramount Pictures on February 14, 2024. The movie grossed over 148 million worldwide. The story is a is about how Bob Marley had overcome adversity and the journey behind Bob's music, which is reggae. The cast is Kingsley Bandar as Bob Marley, Shauna Lynch, uh, played his wife Rita. There were other people that's in the movie, but those are the main two characters. And the storyline is. In 1979, there was a political conflict or civil war in Jamaica, and Bob Marley was planning to perform a concert for peace in the area. While making this plan with his wife and his bandmates, uh, Bob, um, uh, someone came into their home. Bob's home and shot his wife, his bandmates, including Bob himself. Um, everyone survived and recovered just in time for the concert. And as they were leaving the concert or on stage, Bob was kind of upset and thinking that his band, uh, the people in his community would try to kill him and his family and also he showed his uh bullet wound as he leaves the, the stage um after the concert uh his wife went to delaware with the uh to stay with his mom with the kids while Bob and his bandmates went to London to do the to make an album called Exodus. Uh, the album went the album went very well, became a hit, and he was famous. And did, I mean, he got the maximum. Uh, oh, you know. Uh, hits and all that good stuff um while he was in london uh he discovered that he had skin cancer uh and and it's like it's still in the 70s at in the middle of everything um instead of going he refused to take treatment and was willing to uh, face his face his uh, face his own death. And he went back to Jamaica, like nineteen seventy eight, uh, where he was welcome. Everybody was happy and they were glad to see him. And it was stuck. It was a. There was a, uh, well, in the, early in the movie, they, you see them all with guns and, and it's really dark. 
uh, warfare type of community where when he came back, everything was happier, no guns, no, there was no conflict at whatsoever from what I could tell. And he um, did another concert where, well, toward the end of the movie, you see where uh, peace was granted and everybody seemed to be happy. And of course, Bob does die in 1981 from his cancer. Um, the movie was great. I liked it a lot. Um, I see where in the movie that his family, his wife and the kids took part in the production of this movie. So I'm pretty sure what was said in the movie was pretty dead on. Uh, one thing that I had issues with, I mean, what, um, the problem I was having with the movie was that Bob Marley had this thick accent and it made it hard to understand what's being said or what the conversation was having. And I've seen clips of him doing interviews and he does have that uh, accent and does hard and it is hard to understand what he's saying. Uh, what's great is because that's part of who he is. But for a movie and they could just go ahead and keep the accent as it is, but they need like maybe like subtitles so that you can follow what is being said and understand what the story or what we're thinking else. Um, I, I would say also in the movie, um, after he, Bob comes back from London, the guy that tried to kill, shoot him came back at his house and ask Bob for forgiveness. And Bob does. And that's... It says a lot about who he is. And if anything that you probably get out of... The only thing that you would understand that he says is peace. And I think that's the whole point of his accent. Is that you're not supposed to hear everything else, all you're supposed to hear is peace. And that that's clearly his message. Um, and his purpose in life is create peace in this world. Um, that's my only part that I had problem with the movie. Other than that, I liked it. I, uh, I like movies like that. And if you've seen the movie, tell me what you think. And uh, if you haven't seen it, I recommend it. You do go see it. Uh, if you do, I'll probably watch it again on like next Netflix or some, something and uh, somehow make it work out where I see it subtitles so I can follow the story better. Well, anyway... Have peace with you and...